Hey, Collective Hey, welcome back, guys. Welcome back. Shout out to the entire YouTube fam. I love you guys, okay? Happy Sunday. Whoa, give me some messages for the collective. I think I'm gonna just get three of these. Give me three messages for the collective. I'm seeing school, okay? I'm hearing uh, higher learning. I'm hearing higher learning, okay? Knowledge acquisition, uh, classroom learning. For some of you guys, you either in school, okay? You might be wanting to enroll back in school, okay? For some of y'all, this might be spiritual school, okay? So this might not be a physical classroom per se, but it's like your mind is the class space, okay? Your mind collective is, is the classroom space here, okay? It might be something that you're supposed to be tapping into, something else you're supposed to be learning, okay? There is some, for somebody is more knowledge you're supposed to be acquiring. Again, higher learning, okay? So for somebody, it's something you educating yourself on or it's something you're supposed to be educating yourself on or uh, in a specific area. Something about this clock is significant. This clock is standing out. It is 10, uh, 20 on this clock. Or is this 25? It's 10, 25 on this clock. It have to be 10, 25 a.m. For somebody, you're going to get some news by 10, 25 a.m. You might be going on some type of getaway or you might be going on some type of retreat. For somebody, by 10, 45 a.m., it's some type of news you're going to receive. You see the clock is over a bulletin board here, okay? It's, it's some type of information you getting ready to receive by 1045. For some of y'all, you might be in some type of group setting, okay? This might just be some type of group setting I'm picking up. Yeah, nightclub is here. For somebody, it's just some type of group setting that you about to be in. For somebody, you might have some type of options. I'm seeing train, okay? We got train. And then I'm seeing within the vehicle at the bottom. For somebody, you getting ready to, I feel like this phone call, wow, look at this. Within the vehicle, financial center, and then forest cabin again, that retreat, okay? For somebody, it's some type of travel or it's some type of movement. The, the, the car is here within the vehicle, but a train moved faster than a car. So when I'm picking up, something has accelerated. Something is accelerating, okay? For some of y'all, this, this news coming quick. I said by 1045 a.m., okay? For some of y'all, this news coming quick. It's approximately like 9 p.m. Uh, Sunday night, okay? For somebody, again, you get some type of quick news tomorrow, okay? Something accelerating, something picking up. And then look at the, look at the two photos, okay? School, there are desks and chairs. Train, there are empty seats. For somebody... There is a, a, it's like a different type of setting you about to be in. There's a different type of setting, okay? You about to be in collective.
for some of y'all i'm also picking up you might be the teacher with school here okay you might be a spiritual guru of some kind you might be a teacher okay wisdom of the magi okay for somebody you get a lot of downloads you receive a lot of divine information you are very psychic Yeah, Mystic Haven, okay? You are very psychic, collective, whoever you are. You are very intuitive. This says magic, intrigue, hidden wisdom, enchantment. For somebody, again, it's some type of, this is high priestess energy. This is hierophant energy. You hold a lot of hidden knowledge. You hold uh, a lot of hidden wisdom, okay? You have the ability to tap into the unknown. You know things that other people don't know. For somebody, you done got some type of download about this information you finna get, okay? This inf information that you finna get that's coming in quick, it's finna bring about some type of change, okay? It's finna bring some type of change. It's also gonna lay something to rest, okay? Yeah, post office is here. For somebody, you finna get some information, this might be in your mail, okay? This might come via mail. For others of you, this could be a phone call. This could be a DM, okay? This could be a text. For somebody, you need to tap into your magic here with magic intrigue. Yeah, place a reminiscence. For somebody, you ain't tapped in, okay? You scared to connect with your higher self. You scared to tap into your magic, nostalgia, memories, okay? For some of you, you 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 have gifts from past lifetimes, okay? You have gifts from past lifetimes here. You literally need to tap into your magic. Yeah, laboratory is here. You need to tap into your magic. It's something different about your DNA, there is something different about your DNA. For some of y'all, you finna go through a DNA upgrade. Some type of energetic upgrade. Again, you finna tap into past lifetime gifts. And don't, and, and a lot of people, you know, a lot of traditional people be afraid. They, this how it work, right? This is why the government and whomever else came together to create this branch called religion, okay? In this branch of religion, this is like a, a, a way to keep you in a box. This is a way to keep you in a box, right? Because they know if they teach you one thing, right? So for instance, you if you grew up in a traditional household, then you already know you either probably a Christian, okay? Maybe something else, but you more than likely you a Christian if you grew up in a traditional household, right? Christians are taught witchcraft, voodoo, uh, things of that nature, tarot, okay? It's demonic and you don't tap into those things, right? So it was all a plan to teach religion to keep us away from our true gift to keep us from awakening to who we really are because they don't want us to tap into it. You know what I'm saying? And then they cover it up by, it's, it's like this. They are, when I say they, I'm talking about the higher ups. I'm talking about the government, okay? It's like when you hear of occults, okay? You, you, you think something bad. This is where they hide these, things in okay uh, your spiritual shit uh rituals and things of that nature usually only people who are in what society quote unquote calls cults and occults and things like that you know what i'm saying those are the only people to tap into it because they know the damn truth the rest of the population of the world has been taught that these things are demonic okay and because religion was placed most People believe what we were taught. So it's like, yeah, we not tapping into that. <laughs> we ain't tapping into that. We, we done been taught to be afraid of re really a devil that really don't exist. 
Because even in the tarot deck, the devil card is not always a bad card. The number 666 is not a bad number. It's a reason they don't want you tapping into that number. It's a reason they place that number, that number with the devil. You got to wake up. You got to pay attention. Place of reminiscence is here. Okay, this is a reflection. For somebody, you need to reflect back. For somebody, you could have been psychic as a child. You could have been spiritually gifted uh, as a child here. Since a very young age, some of you guys have been spiritually gifted. For, is, for example, like it might have showed up in, in different type of ways, okay? Like for me, example, as young as I can remember, right? <laughs> This is funny because this is true. Like as young as I can remember, this is like before maybe even kindergarten or around kindergarten, elementary school age, I would sneak and call. You know how the numbers come on the TV and be like John Popoff or whoever the pastors was back then on T TV where they'll mail you the holy water and the holy cloth. You know what I'm saying? I used to literally sneak on the phone back then. You know, we had house phones, okay? I would sneak on the phone and call the number and order my prayer cloth, order my holy water, my spring water, my anointed water. You know what I'm saying? My anointing oil. I was in fucking elementary school. But my spirit, this go, my spirit was familiar with these other spiritual things at a very young age. I was in probably elementary going to middle school. So fifth, sixth grade, maybe even fourth grade. I was very advanced, like third, between third and fifth grade. I was reading every one of the books that Sylvia Brown had. Again, I grew up in a traditional family. We went to church. But it was something that my spirit was not being fed at church that I saw elsewhere, okay? So for somebody, you had similar experience, experiences or you've done similar things as a, as a child. This is because you have always been spiritually gifted from a young age. For somebody, your DNA is being upgraded. Your DNA is being activated with laboratory here. So for somebody, you definitely a spiritual teacher of some kind, okay? Meeting places, destiny unfolds. Your destiny is unfolding. You have been, a, been spiritually gifted again since a child. Your destiny is just now really unfolding. Wow, church is here. Holy Spirit is being clear. Church is here. And for somebody, this don't have to be the, this is not the physical building that I'm picking up. This is not the physical building that I'm picking up. This is the body that I'm picking up here with church. This is the body. You have always been connected to source with Mystic Haven here. You have, you have always been a high priestess or a hierophant energy. And a lot of times, again, with church coming out, it's kind of like church could have... Uh, how do I put this? Um... You, you, you may have created boundaries for yourself, okay? Or your family may have created boundaries for you. But when you are chosen, it's about breaking the mold. Breaking the mold. A lot of you guys might be the black sheep of the family. A lot of you guys probably the most uh, underestimated in the family. A lot of you guys, again, are the ones that's talked about in the family. But you have to break the mold. You have to, that's a part of being the generational curse breaker. 
It's expected of you to break the mold. It's expected of you to go against the grain because of what God has instilled in you. This is dope, guys. The sky is here. Infinite universe is bigger than church. <laughs> Holy Spirit being clear, this shit is bigger than church. Don't ever get it twisted. But now don't get me wrong. I'm not knocking church, okay? I'm not knocking church. I started in church, okay? I'm not knocking it. And as uh shout out to my boy Seti, okay? But he likes to say church is um, a spiritual hospital. And I love that terminology. I love that. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Can't think of the word I'm looking for. But I love the way that he phrased that. Because that's true. For some people, this is where their spirit is being fed. For some people, they won't go past the umbrella of church. But that's not for everybody. So you got to walk in your light. You got to walk in your truth. You got to do what God called you to do. You can't let people who are uh, constricted to this hold you back. I think I'm going to use this deck. Give me some more messages for a collective. Yeah, it's like school. From a from a school age, whoever you are, you've been spiritually gifted, okay? From school age, okay? You always had a connection to spirit with holy union here, okay? You've always been like us again. You've always been advanced here with train, train here since a child, since school age. The divine director, trust the process, okay? This is confirmation for somebody. You need to trust the process. This says... Sacred mission initiation. I don't know if y'all can see that. For somebody, you tapping into your cosmic power. You tapping into your unlimited potential. You need to trust the process. Sometimes you got to let go of things that no longer serve your highest purpose. Outdated ways of thinking. Outdated ways of doing things. Outdated processes, okay? Okay. People that ain't on your level. People that don't vibrate how you vibrate. Sometimes you got to let some shit go. And don't ever think that God can't use you, okay? Because for all of the religious people, okay? And it's funny how, how you know, religious people are very um, judgmental. Because even in the Bible, it speaks about how God used certain individuals, murderers, okay? God really used killers. Killers turned into prophets. You feel me? So don't ever think because you've done something, don't let society make you feel like God can't use you. Don't, don't ever make allow society to make you feel like you are not worthy because you are. You got to trust the process. No matter what you did, it happened. You got to move on from the past. Everything that happens, happened for a reason, okay? It has to do with your walk, okay? It has to do with your purpose. That's why nobody can't tell you how to live your life. Because God has something planned differently for everybody. What God called your parents to do. What God called your siblings to do, okay? He ain't called you to do. And he ain't called them to do what he called you to do. You got to know your role. Hold on, one fell. Wow, it came back out, guys. Cosmic power, okay? Unlimited potential, sacred mission initiation. For somebody, you going through some type of spiritual initiation, you being initiated into your mission. You're being initiated into your purpose.
and people gonna think you crazy. Miraculous encounter is here, but that's okay. Again, people gonna think you crazy, but that's okay, collective. Okay, that's okay, cause it, it ain't meant for everybody to under to understand the carnal mind. You know what I'm saying? So again, you have to know who you are. Mother Mary is here. Miraculous encounter, divine experiences. Wow. Do not be do not be afraid of being powerful, it says. And this falling on Mystic Haven. Okay, what did I say about Mystic Haven? This is high priestess energy. This is hierophant energy. You are a spiritual being. You have spiritual gifts, okay? For somebody, you having some type of divine experiences. You are having encounters with God. For somebody, you are literally having some type of encounters with the Most High God. Look at this. Divine intervention. Divine intervention. For somebody, you having encounters with the angels. You having encounters with your ancestors, okay? That's another thing people like to do. Make it seem like you can't connect with your ancestors. When you die, the physical body is dead. Your spirit can't die. Energy don't die. Energy does not die collective. Let me, let me share something with y'all. So sometimes when I want to get away, because I don't have friends, okay? Um, and, you know, I'm a stay at, well, I work from home, but I'm a stay at home mom. I homeschool two of my kids, okay? So I'm always home. The only place I really go is like the grocery store, to be honest. <laughs> so the grocery store and the nursing home to visit my grandmother. Them the only two places I really go. So for me, my getaway is hopping in the car, riding. I'll get in the car and hop on the interstate and I might ride for an hour or two and turn around and come back home. That's my getaway because I don't know. I can connect with God. I can connect with the Holy Spirit. I can connect with my ancestors when, you know, I like, I, I need to talk to somebody. I get in my car and ride. So last week I did this exact thing. You know, I knew it was early in the morning. It's probably about eight o'clock. I hopped up, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, you know what? I gotta, I need to get out today. And it, I wasn't even, I was maybe 10 or 15 minutes in the drive and I just started breaking down crying, but it wasn't a sad cry. When the Holy Spirit come over you, like if you've been in church, you know what I'm talking about, comment down below. If anybody have had a true encounter with the Holy Spirit or with God, there is just this strong feelings of emotion that come over you and you can't do nothing but cry. Like, I can't really explain it. This is one of those things you got to be connected. You, you have to have experienced this to really know what I'm talking about. And I'm just crying for probably like 30 minutes straight, y'all, on the drive, okay? And I really got a chance to have a divine encounter this day. I really had a chance to have a divine encounter this day because I had some shit on my mind, some things that had been on my mind. But this particular day, it's like I got the answers that I needed. I got the instruction that I needed to do what I need to do. That was a divine encounter. That was a divine experience that I encountered on the ride the other day. And for some of y'all, you having these same things. You having these same things, okay? See, when you go through things and, and, and you connected the source, when you a chosen one, don't ever put your hands in it. Because that's what I was about to do, put my hands in some shit, right? And, and, and my ancestors went to talking to me. God went to speaking to me. Don't put your hands in it. See, when you put your hands in it, then God can't move. Your ancestors can't move. See, this is why they say God can handle things far better than we can, okay? Because now we, 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 we talking about something spiritual. We talking about spiritual encounters. We talking about divine experiences, okay? We talking about freak accidents. We talking about mother nature. So there are, again, 
the spirit can handle things better than we can collective. And I needed that moment because I needed that reminder. You know what I'm saying? That I am protected, okay? I needed that reminder that no, vengeance is mine. I will repay. So again, for somebody you having some type of divine encounter or there is going to be an encounter with the Holy Spirit that you're going to have. Or for some of y'all, there is going to be an encounter with your ancestors that you're going to have. I had an encounter with my grandfather. Let me tell you. So I was doing a video one day, actually a YouTube video, doing a reading. This was probably like almost two years ago. And in the middle of the reading, a dime just fell in the middle of the floor. Mind you, I'm the only one home. Ain't nobody else home. It's me doing the reading and a dime fell in the middle of the floor. And y'all know when a penny drop or a dime drop, when money drop, it don't just, when a coin drop, it don't just fall and, and that's it. You know, it kind of goes side to side to side to side until finally it settles down. So that's what happened in the middle of the reading, but it didn't scare me. I just always wondered, like, who is that connecting with me, right? So this same day that I told y'all about last week that I went riding, it's like my granddaddy came to me and he confirmed that it was him because he also uh, showed me I had another encounter. I was doing, a, it always happened with him when I'm doing a reading. He always come through. My mom have, um, it's my mom's dad, right? he he she have some of his like cooking utensils okay and that's what happened you know how it sounds if you pick up a fork and drop it on top of other forks or you pick up a spoon or a knife and you drop it on top of other spoons or knives it makes like a clinking a clink noise and that's what happened one day and my grandfather reminded me he took me back to that encounter that that was him. For somebody, you got an ancestor connecting with you. You ha Again, you having some type of divine experiences. You having some type of divine encounters that you need to pay attention to. And it's, 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 it's just a real experience if you blessed to have a divine encounter. If you blessed to have a divine moment, I'm telling you. Because everybody don't. But for somebody, you being awakened to this. You've always been spiritually gifted since a child. Give me one more for the collective. Wow. <laughs> this one literally just, just had came out. It was too fell. This was on top. I put it back in. Isis is here. Reclaiming magic. Call back your power and what is rightfully yours. This is dope. What a way to end this reading. Because this is what this read was all about. For somebody, you tapping back into your power. That's why school is here. How you learning. You supposed to be tapping in. Tapping into that hidden knowledge, that hidden wisdom that you know. For somebody, you connected uh, in the Akashic Records, okay? You have the ability to tap into the Akashic Records. And you see this reclaiming your magic is falling on top of church. Again, for some of y'all, church have created certain boundaries for you, certain limitations for you. You have to break the mold. You got to call back your power. You got to tap back into your magic because think about it. I feel like this is why they created the branch of religion to, to try to keep us in a box because they know how powerful we are. Our ancestors used to literally hunt and torture slave masters and shit back in the days. Spiritually, on the spiritual level. Not in the physical, but on the spiritual. When you close your eyes to go to sleep. You might be home alone and some shit popping off in your damn house. When you die, you can't pass over 
to the light because you still being fucking haunted. This is why, again, they tried to make it to where our magic is, is negative because of the power we have. We are the gods. Again, if, if God is your father, then what is you? Why you think uh, in, in, in most uh, cultures, the children get who last name? The father's last name. You you what you 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 are what your father is. Period. So if if our father is a god, then we gods and goddesses too. If he is powerful, then we are powerful too. We connected to his lineage. This is why and and again, another thing, this is why you never abuse your power. You never abuse your power collective. Because you always had a protection of God. You always had a protection of your ancestors. This is why everybody not called. Because God know who heart ain't right. God know who spirit ain't right. God know who gonna abuse their power. So yeah, you got some people who tapping into magic for the wrong reason. You got some people who abusing it. But they shall reap what they sow. The energy they put out, they shall get that shit back. A lot of times, let me tell you something. People, it be a while before people reap shit that they've sown is because they ain't fuck with the right one. And excuse my French, but the ancestors coming through. They ain't fuck with the right one. But when you are chosen, when you are called, okay? And you got somebody in the physical realm trying to do magic against you. They can't use your own shit against you. <laughs> think about that when you know god is your father when you know who the fuck your ancestors are and you have somebody in the physical realm that tries to come against you this why what did i say you can't put your hands in it you gotta let god handle it you gotta let your ancestors handle that shit you gotta let your spirit team handle that shit because you can't fight people in the physical. You have to pull them in the realm where you strongest at. And that's in the spiritual realm when you are chosen. Okay? That is in the spiritual realm. You don't even try to fight battles in the physical. You don't even react. You don't even pose to react to things in the physical realm. You might can fire a warning shot. You know what I'm saying? You might can fire a warning shot. And just warn a motherfucker, don't fuck with you because when some shit go down, don't say I didn't tell you don't mess with me. But other than that, you don't even worry about it. Because, because God got you, your ancestors watching over you. Everybody, everybody don't have ancestral protection. Everybody does not have ancestral protection because a lot of motherfuckers karmic. What did I say? A lot of people abuse their power. They abuse their gift. You, you wasn't chosen. See, this is the difference from somebody chosen and then somebody just doing magic. When you chosen, you have an anointing. It was just 33, 44 when I looked down. When you are chosen, you carry an anointing. This is why they magic can't touch you. This is why you can't be fucked with. Because there is an anointing that God has placed on you. This is dope, guys. This reading turned out to be hella dope. Inner fire is here at the bottom. Let your passion lead you to your purpose. For somebody, you being led to your purpose, okay? You you might be connect, connected to uh, ancient Egypt, okay? You might come from a Egyptian lineage, okay? So hit that thumbs up, guys. I think I'm going to close out the reading here. This was a lit-ass reading. This was super dope. Um, subscribe if you have not subscribed, okay? Y'all tap into y'all magic. Don't be afraid. You know what I'm saying? We we don't care about no naysayers. We don't care about no haters. You know, that they, they gonna do what they do. But at the end of the day, we bigger than them. You feel me? We bigger than them. We the biggest. You know what I'm saying? We serve the big God, not the little one. You know what I'm saying? So, 
Um, y'all turn up, do y'all thing, tap into your magic, but make sure you're doing it from the right heart space, okay? Because you want to make sure you always have God's grace, okay? You want to make sure you always have God's protection, okay? You want to make sure you always have the favor of God on your life. So this is why I do things, I, I do the right things even when nobody is looking, okay? So hit that thumbs up, subscribe if you have not subscribed, guys. Thank y'all for watching.